bill has now been passed into law. A controversial piece of legislation up next on the table, of course, is the anti-terrorism bill that is also as controversial as the online safety bill. Now, while there is ambiguity surrounding uh, these bills, the provisions that they bring, and uh, the possible criminalization of free expression here in uh, Sri Lanka. Amidst all of this, Sri Lanka is going through an economic crisis. This is an election year quite a lot of things happening this year. So we will be keeping you abreast on all political um, developments, of course, and uh, to continue our discourse into the current situation in Sri Lankan politics, we have with us today former parliamentarian Dhirunika Premachandra, current member of the Samagi Janabala Vegia. Uh, a very good evening, uh, Mrs. Premachandra, and welcome Hi, to the show. Good evening, long time. Very long time. We're having you back after quite some time. Yes. Um, so to start off, uh, uh, you were seen in the headlines uh, very recently uh, for a reason that's, of course, uh, mixed both political, uh, judicial, uh, personal, very personal. Um, this uh, was regarding the presidential pardon uh, that was given to Duminda de Silva over the uh, murder of none other than your father. Um, so, there were a long battle, of course, in yeah. court. You had a press conference, you, uh, you spoke about how hard this battle was uh, but uh, moving forward does, did this incident just before we get into the real discussion today uh, did this incident really you know strengthen your confidence in Sri Lanka's judicial system is there still hope for the general public of some sort of justice in a political system that has absolutely zero accountability yes Harlan, I must say that uh, past 13 years was um, I know one hell of a journey mm. for myself and my family uh, but now looking back uh, I think I, I still don't know how we struggled and the 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 the, the grief way we went through I mean the, the period mm. of that not only grief like life uh, threatening you know uh, we had we had we had to face so many uh, we had to face so many obstacles mm. but uh, i think it's worth it anyway mm. but uh, my personal uh, opinion is that if we have to fight mm. to uh, for for justice mm. uh, that means the the rule of law and the judge not i wouldn't say the judiciary system mm. but the law, rule of law and uh, the system the political system is everything is messed up that's mm. why we have to fight mm. for justice mm. right so i think my um, now i mean a country like uh, usa or canada mm. or you know a countries like that where the rule of the the, the law is above everyone mm. <clears throat> they don't have to fight for justice right they just you know the system is like smoothly running and they mm. just have to wait and um, very easily and very quickly they mm. get the decision and the the day they the, the verdict day they mm. that's the only day they have to go and the victim mm. and the the, mm. the families of the 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 victim uh, they just have to go and uh, wait for the verdict. the right verdict mm. but here myself as a as a daughter i had mm. to fight i have to i mean i uh, when my, my father died i was only 23 and um, i didn't know anyone i didn't know anything hmm. at all i was hmm. very naive I, I i didn't know anything and thankfully i must say sira sir hmm. uh, they saw some truth in me hmm. they helped me so much at that time i didn't realize what i mean the 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 uh, you know the support mm. I had from this media only Sirasa and Siyata, mm. but now I understand the impact they made mm. because you know after my court date mm. after the, my dad, dad's court uh, uh, every day I, uh, spoke I, to the media. I spoke to the media mm. that you know that eight or nine second of that clip mm. made a huge impact Mm. in the country mainly mm. mothers and daughters mm. they supported me mm. i think i i um, that uh, they they i i was driven mm. uh, into you know uh, uh, you know fighting for justice or you know prevailing justice is because i had that support from 
uh, the the public and the people. Hmm. So what about people who don't have the support, who hmm. don't have that media support? Hmm. Uh, so still, hmm. mothers from northern area, they're hmm. still looking for their sons. Hmm. They're still holding their pictures after 20, maybe 10, 20 years. They're still hmm. looking for their sons. Hmm. And even uh, mothers here. Hmm. Uh, recently, I saw um, a press meeting, you know, that... Um, 11, um, um, 11 boys who got, uh, who, uh, I mean, the who allegedly abducted by the media, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So those kids, those, uh, those, I mean, if they were alive, mm. uh, they'll be fathers right now, like they'll mm. be uh, about uh, age, of, age of 35, 36. Mm. So mm. back then they were youngsters. Mm. So they're still looking for them. They're still mm. looking for justice. Because they're they have not been pronounced dead. Dead yet. So um, I think... Now it's about time that after this verdict, mm. at least people have some kind of hope. Mm. Uh, and also this showed that no one's above law, mm. uh, even the president. Mm. You might think you are above the law. Yeah, you can't. But you're not. You're not. And he also, he, he didn't um, follow the procedures also. Mm. And it shows now people can actually be happy mm. because they chase away a person who... Doesn't even know. Uh, I mean, has, doesn't even know how to use his own powers, and he, he doesn't know how to. Uh, you know, even he. The, the, this decision had shown the people how how stupid <laughs> previous. I mean, the uh, uh, former president was. Hmm. But uh, moving on, of course. Um, speaking of these injustices, now, just as you said, uh, you had to face many obstacles. Uh, but however, you had the support of um, well, people around you, you had loved ones, family, uh, people who have a say in society to come and back you, to support you, uh, both financially, uh, emotionally, uh, and, and in all, all other aspects in life. But there are people uh, who don't have that kind of support. There are innocent people who are suffering at the brute force of those in power. Yes. Uh, one of the best examples is the recent uh, shooting of this Haram. man who was uh, traveling in a lorry, uh, a, a trigger-happy cop of course, uh, had opened fire. Uh, he claimed there was a video uh, that was circulating on social media where he claimed that he just intended to point the gun at this man uh, he, to he, scare him. Yes, uh, but and what, he, was, what? Mis he mistakenly shot him. Yes. But how can someone mistakenly shoot someone right in the uh, head? In the head? <laughs> Thank God a bystander recorded this, right? Hmm. See, this now today you just said now that bill had uh, online been, safety. Yeah, only online safety it's now the online safety act act now so thank god a bystander in that that in that instant mm. someone a bystander just recorded it right mm. just imagine that video i mean i mean because of social media mm. it circulated that people got to know what what has happened mm. just imagine if that didn't happen mm. now the police will come out and say this man was a drug lord or he had some drug or I saw something mm, mm. with him. So mm. because of that, the police shot him. Mm. See, this is why I'm telling how, how uh, uh, dangerous this act is. Mm. You know, right now, I mean, even now, the people who are in the government uh, side, they voted for this. Mm. But just imagine they'll go to opposition also. No? Mm. So this will affect them as well. Mm. So anyway, what I think is now, if we take this phone, mm. we, we, are, we are so addicted to our mm. phones and mm. we don't uh, watch television anymore. Most yes. of the youngsters, right? We have Facebook, we have YouTube, mm. Twitter, all these social media apps. Mm. Just imagine not having these apps. Mm. What are you going to look at? Just the missed calls and, you know, the messages and all that. Mm. So that's good. That's what's going to happen. All mm. these service providers will just take off. The, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure mm. after this, um, you know, the, now the act, now there's, there's an act now. We can't, as, as citizens also, we can't do anything about mm. it right mm. now. Now the funny part is the, we can't go out and protest against it also. Mm. Mm. You know, because there are, they can uh, arrest those people. 
accordingly because of that uh, all these clauses because you are, also you are, you are trying to you know if they determine that you are lying yeah, yeah. and the truth is a very objective thing yeah. how do you decide exactly and the other thing is now for an example if you decide mm. from today onwards mm. you don't have a, a religion mm. that's your right that's my truth that's my that's your truth then you that's your right mm. whether to uh, you know uh, b- believe in a in a religion or not mm. in this act mm. you can't do that even mm. that's the that's the dangerous part mm. because then anyone can say you have uh, you, uh, i mean you uh, attacked buddhism or you attacked some other religion no you 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 instill or you disturb their feelings feelings mm. so because of that they can uh, arrest you mm. that's the thing. so i think recently can you remember uh, all those uh, media i mean there was a big cow in media for this vishwa buddha and mm. all those i think those people i mean it's all it's it's all a very well planned story mm. because now they anyway this act they uh, they only uh, specifically they're saying they they brought up this act only because uh, because there's a threat to religion and mm. threat to, to protect women protect to protect, women protect women children to protect women and you know online uh, frauds and all that we sti- we we do have laws for that mm-hmm. why do we, why do you need different i mean uh, uh, all new act for that mm. so it's all because of this uh, now the elections are coming up definitely mm. elections are coming up mm. and the government is in a very troubled uh, period Time. right now mm. so because of that i think they are scared that the, again these uh um, a, a new aragalaya would uh, you know mm. the, the 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 youngsters will form and mm. start a new aragalaya i think that's one of the reasons and also now uh this channel i'm just saying now people people have this uh, uh faith in this channel and see it mm. it's okay to say because you know you are you're not biased but now after this mm. <laughs> act now people will have to listen to uh whatever the news from other channels what they want to want people to hear hear mm. so because we have uh, social media we have our own opinion also mm. Mm. so this is what they're trying to uh, take away take away it's very very dangerous mm. and i think uh, still people don't understand mm. the the gravity of this mm. but i think from today onwards if mm. these service providers and all those international social media the, all those people mm. just you know uh, withdraw, withdraw mm. from our country then the youngsters and all these youth pe- mm. the people will again they have to uh, rise uh, against this government otherwise just imagine we i mean we yes we are an island mm. so they they are literally <laughs> they're literally trying to keep us in this island isolate us it, from the rest us, of yes. the world um but whatever said out on um, the act has now been passed into law the government of however says they continue to uh, assert that uh, this act is only to protect women to protect children marginalized communities uh, but we will have to now that's pa- that it's passed into law we do have laws for that now that it's passed into law we'll of course have to wait and see but um i i had several uh, parliamentarians also from the sjp um coming on this show and uh, what one question that i asked them and i continue to ask of course everybody who comes on the show is that um given such time when a government of whoever the guest is the party that they represent does come into power uh, in your case the sjp uh, if a government of the sjp comes into power uh, is it absolutely a no brainer would it definitely happen uh, that this piece of legislation will be uh, repealed of course we are in now the whole core world is in a uh we are we are in a digital st- stage mm. we are in a very ev- i mean we are very close to other mm. countries and other platforms and we can't deny that and we can't go on like that mm. and there are people who are uh, who have online businesses mm. what about them and also like um, uh, uh, most of the young people they have youtube channels mm. and you know and uh, this is the only way of uh, and also right now everybody is doing politics on uh, social on media, social media. Mm. and we can't we can't deny that so because of that i think whoever comes mm. into power the first thing mm. should be to revoke this uh, you know uh, this online safety yeah, bill online safety bill well 
moving on from from those issues of course to uh, the more political matters uh, that are coming up this year of course uh, all political parties are now gearing up for elections recently uh, we saw the itec ilange tamil arsakatya party uh, they for the first time in quite some time had a had a vote in their working committee uh, over 300 members of itec voted uh there was president's council ma sumandiran and and many others participating president's council ma sumandiran lost the race but congratulated the winner and came out with the winner and um, said that they will support, support their you. leader and work together uh, to of course uh, bring their party more into the fold than they are all than they already are but um, this sort of democratic framework is very rarely seen in in among sri lankan political parties and the fact that it has now come out of um what is considered to be a minor political party not a major political party is of course setting a precedent for all other parties as well now uh, for example the UNP had the same leader for over three decades the SLPP always centered around the same leader the SLFP uh, whoever is in power continues to latch on to that power until their presidency is over and now the current leader even after his presidency continues to hold on to that position um so do you personally believe now that you're part of the SJB is this democracy available in the SJB yeah i think so uh, i mean i'm one of uh, a, a best ex- example because when i was in i i represented different different parties mm, right mm. when i was there when i ha- i mean i was very young when i started politics but um, uh first i was in um, uh sri lanka freedom sri lanka party. freedom party yes. and then as a as a woman also i never had a chance of doing any work mm. because there are, there were like really senior uh, women politicians yes who had all the you know all these positions and all that and they never allowed us to do anything mm. that same thing happened in ump also mm. and i think my uh, i mean my my best age mm. had just you know gone away, gone away. Mm. at least now now i'm 36 uh, mm. but uh, now i think uh, at least now mm. in stb i have a huge responsibility mm. and i uh, promised myself i will never do that to any other woman mm. right in our party so we have this um, uh, you know system mm. of uh, women who are in a, like really uh, uh, you know uh, Uh, who are in uh, you know grassroots level grassroots level yes. and you know in our communities mm. they have a chance of getting into the higher positions mm. we have a voting system okay. we have a uh, your nominate uh, nominating system so i think uh, i think i have changed that in our samagi vanita group mm. uh, and we have the same um, same kind of freedom also mm. like when we were we, when i was in uh, those parties i had never had a chance mm. to talk uh, i mean back mm. at a leader, leader. okay cuz <laughs> even i can remember i tried mm. uh, even with ranil vikram singh he will just say shut up and sit down he okay. used to say that a lot to time. me all the time because i was quiet rebel rebellion kind mm. of a mm. uh, member but here also in mm. uh, I I I have that freedom. I'm mm. not only me. I mean all our all of our members we mm. have that freedom of asking questions from our leader. Mm. That's that's that that have to be like the, mm. that's a mm. must, right? Yes. And uh, we can question him, we can um, you know state our opinions if mm. we don't like something. Mm. Uh we can say that you know we 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 respect uh, the majority mm. uh, their decision but still we are not we don't agree with agree it. with that okay so recently also i had to say that mm. uh, uh, when um, i i believe that some people came from other parties and mm. uh, i um, there are few people like mm. I, i i don't mind mm. but if we are taking someone from another party we mm. first we have to take look at the numbers right mm. because we are we are a political party yes so that person should be a uh, asset to us Hmm. and that person should have a clean background a clean background and votes hmm. clean background is the first hmm. it's a must so uh, so when certain people they you know joined our party and i had few issues hmm. and i like i openly said that hmm. Hmm. and i said you know i respect you. I, i i i don't agree with your decision but i respect your decision as a party member hmm. because the majority is in the, uh, i mean took that decision okay 
but uh, i have decided mm. if those people are on on a stage mm. i'm i'm a national level uh, i mean i'm Politician. a national speak, speaker now mm. uh, in our party and we we have few other mm. national level speakers so i decided that i will never uh, get into that stage where those mm. people are mm. uh, i mean uh, if they are in, on that stage mm. so and leader great mm. so i think i'm doing i mean there are we have our own policies and own beliefs mm. even though we are in another in a, we representing a party mm. uh, we should have our own policies and uh, beliefs mm. so i res- i mean he respect that mm. which is which is good mm. uh, he never uh, as as the leader and uh, i mean the the the, the main uh, the final decision the, maker the final decision maker mm. and also the executive members in our party mm. they never uh, forced me or mm. they never asked questions so, so one final question uh, mrs prem chandra now uh, we're moving on to this election uh, like i said before this is an unprecedented uh, situation in the country and an unprecedented things are really happening for the first time a third force a political party that is considered a minor political party has now become a formidable force and 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 got the main political parties now talking about them uh, considering them as an opponent at the election and this is the jatika jana balavega that has gained quite a little bit of traction uh, throughout the past few years uh, this traction is of course evident on on social media and various other platforms uh, uh, across uh, all platforms so speaking of um, well the policies that has been put forward by the SJB and the JJB um both are opposition political parties uh, both policies at least for the moment appear to be similar yeah. so why should a voter choose It's the SJB over the JJB since you are here mm-hmm. um uh, could you explain us i'll tell you you actually that's what i am <laughs> also saying if we have the similar policies <clears throat> Hmm. I mean why do we we can get together and uh, hmm. you know contest no yes uh, anyway uh, my personal what i think is that shall now we've been listening to these speeches from the all these political parties and political leaders for for quite some time now including the sjb also yeah <laughs> so if you look at i mean now our voters mm-hmm. they normally they're very uh, emotional. i mean emotional mm. to their speeches yes. those speeches i mean each and every few look at all these parties hmm. don't you think they all are saying the same thing yes it appears so exactly in different different words in different hmm. different styles and but uh, they are all doing attractive. things all doing things contradictory to that yeah also in the same way <laughs> <laughs> um now if you take all these um, rallies hmm. okay uh people just look at the rally they don't mm. listen to the, mm. the speeches mm. right they, they look at the number to, of people, people who are there they have to li- they they don't they have to listen to the speeches mm. not look at the speech okay mm. so now when you listen to the speeches mm. from all these political parties they're saying uh, uh, now we can't live uh, because you know the the prices have gone up mm. you know uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, carrot is this much mm, carrot mm, the, the mm. prices have gone up and the rice prices have gone up mm. and the rajapaksas are you know frauds and they are corrupted mm. and the uh, government officers are corrupted mm. all those things are very similar mm. everybody is saying the same thing yes and why do we the voters have to understand why do we have to go and listen to the same speech over and over again hmm. if we put on the television the same thing hmm. they uh, hmm. they they're saying the same thing even the radio even the social media hmm. now people have to understand if you are if they are going to a rally if they are choosing a, a a political party hmm. not to uh, not to um, listen to what they already know hmm. ask for what they don't know what hmm. but do they but they don't know is the solutions hmm. the answers hmm. okay the po- policies and what they're hmm. trying what hmm. they're going to do in another 5 years right. in their uh, when, they next, when they come into power so now from i i urge all the citizens in this hmm. country at least now from now on hmm. look at don't look at the uh, the uh, rally hmm. listen to the rally listen to the speeches hmm. then you'll understand everybody is saying the same thing in different different style mm. and different i mean those speeches are very attractive i mm. must say mm. but first we have to now we are in a very difficult situation, situation mm. as as a country as people mm. we have a economic problem 
we have a uh, we uh, we have a I mean economically we are in a uh, I mean we can't I mean it's very difficult to mm. uh, uh, you know uh, rise up and also uh, culturally we are in a very different mm. uh, difficult stage and also like all the areas we are mm. in a very difficult place. Now the person and also the other thing is youth mm. mainly youth mm. are very angry. Mm. So now we need a leader who can calm them down, mm. not to make them more angry and you know go, go against everything. Mm. So if you are listening to a speech, always listen, always ask questions. So okay, we know everything but now what's the solution mm. and what's their policy. Mm. Now if you take uh, Harsha De Silva, mm. Iran, Kabir, mm. they don't, they don't, this people don't uh, follow their speeches because they're not attractive. Hmm. Like they're not. Uh, how do I say? Uh, people are always. They're not used speaking to, to the gallery. Gallery attractive, hmm. but they have facts and figures. Hmm. You know, they 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 uh, they they state what they're going to do hmm. in another five years, hmm. which is uh, we we can either we can accept that or not, but. They have a view of mm, mm. how they're going to turn out mm. the the, uh, the the country and the economy. Mm. And even if you take Sajid Premadas also, his speeches are not attractive. Mm. He's not blaming anyone. He's not taking any names. Mm. But if you listen to his uh, speeches, mm. he has a policy. Uh, he has an education policy. He, mm. he had he had stated his education policy, policy, health uh, mm. policy, and his uh, you know foreign policy. Mm. So uh, now our, our problem is people are so used to those, you know, people want a very uh, a speaker who speak to the gallery and they want to laugh and mm, they want mm. to, you know, uh, cheer and all that. And gradually people forget mm. what we really need right now as a country to go forward. Mm. So I think from uh, recently I saw like there are large amount of women mm. participating in those rallies, mm. in, especially in JVP and actually one of the media person who asked me, so aren't you scared you are you're, mm. you're, <laughs> one, you're the uh, women leader in uh, SJB? Yes. I said, I am very thrilled mm. and it's so refreshing to see so many women, you know, participating at le I mean, they are participating in politics, yes. doesn't matter which party, mm. Mm. it's a good thing that pe women, women are coming, are coming out, out, right? Yes. And uh, I think after this Aragale also it happened, mm. so it doesn't matter which party, but that women also need to know, mm. need to uh, need to understand, mm. so how are we going to contribute to this economy? Mm. Uh, I mean, is it with the, you know, legalizing prostitution mm. or? Are we, how, uh, are we, uh, do they really have a uh, yeah. framework, what mm. work, mm. I mean they have a pol policy of us, uh, you know, getting involved, uh, uh, to get us involved in uh, the, the, the economy, economy. To make it more productive, make it of, more course. productive. Uh, so. of course, I think time and time again uh, we've seen how women's involvement in politics, in economy has uh, really propelled nations to the next level, um, India also being uh, chief among them, yeah. uh, there are many ministers, even the finance minister uh, is, is, is a lady. A foreign uh, minister is also a lady. Again. Yes, it's, it's, um, women are really uh, becoming a huge part of politics and, and, and economy is, is beneficial for any country and that has been proved time and time again yeah. uh, from across the world. However, now since the election is coming up, of course, um, the general public needs to be more aware, yeah. uh, just like you said exactly. about uh, the policies of various political parties. And uh, I don't a, think that's it's, the only it's way forward. Also, now you you were talking about uh, the democracy in other like mm. minor parties, right? Yes. All this uh, we say uh, good governance. Mm. Or we have to change the whole system. system. The, the 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 changing of system is. From even from the rallies also we have to show mm, how mm. we are going to change the system. Mm. We we've been doing these speeches from a long time. Mm. Now we just have to just you know change take, a t take a take a turn mm. and tell people what our actual policies are, and mm. then people will also change. You mm. know, people will also ask, okay, now what are you going? What are you going to do in ne next five years? Because mm. now people don't want to, because mm. pe people just want to listen to those, you know, beautiful, I mean, like attractive really speeches. attractive speeches. Yes, of course, and I think there's a very popular saying that says you can't do the same thing over and over again yeah. and expect a different result. So let's keep that in mind, yeah. of course, when we go to the polling booths uh, this year. Hopefully, 
hopefully this year at whichever election comes our way. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, uh, little. I just want to. We have our, liter uh, our literacy is ninety four mm. percent, right? Yes. Our political literacy is like I think zero percent. <laughs> now I think this is about time that we change that, mm. and people need to learn politics, mm. read politics, mm. and listen to all these. Uh, you know what their policies are, mm. and at least we have now we have social media we mm. have these all these poli policies mm. in a, it's just one touch mm. just go to these websites read from all list. these parties mm. read mm. and then you'll realize what is the best way mm. for forward definitely that's no. that seems like a very yeah. good suggestion hope our <laughs> viewers take it uh, in a positive note thank you very much uh, mrs prema chandra for joining us on our program thank today you. thank you very much to all our viewers out there for tuning in to another episode of face to face we'll see you again same time same place tomorrow until then take care and god bless Thank <laughs> you.